Ye hangar with us on Google Plus forward slash channels television. Follow us on twitter.com forward slash channels TV underscore NG. Friend us on facebook.com forward slash channels forum. And don't forget to like our page. That's not all. Subscribe to our YouTube channels. YouTube.com forward slash channels web. To get posted and video updates and news and events in Nigeria and around the world. ChannelsTV.com. The news at your fingertips. Thanks for staying with us. Welcome to News Track on Channels Television. I'm Jaka Rogers. And I'm Ayotunde Balogun. Here are some of the stories and reports that we're tracking at this hour. The Supreme Court has dismissed the appeal filed by the candidate of the Democratic People's Party in the April 2011 governorship election in Delta State, Mr. Great Ogboru, in which he challenged the election of Mr. Emmanuel Udwa as the governor of the state. Delivering judgment on the suit, Justice Suleiman Galadima, who led a panel of four justices, said the application by Mr. Ogboru amounted to a gross, or a gross abuse of court process are capable of setting a dangerous precedence for the legal profession. The courts therefore awarded a cost of 150,000 naira against Mr. Ogboru. Mr. Ogboru had approached the court seeking for an order to set aside its March 21st, 2012 judgment which affirmed Mr. Odwara as the winner of the election. Well, disturbed by the continued loss of revenue to the federal government owing to the activities of oil thieves, the president last night met with relevant players in the oil sector with a view to mapping out strategies to address the problem. Speaking with State House correspondents after the meeting, the Minister of Petroleum, Mrs. Diazani Alison Madweke, explained that the meeting discussed very critical issue of crude oil theft, which is affecting revenue accruing to the Federation account from the sale of crude oil. She added that uh, the stakeholders in the oil industry have resolved to address the multi-pronged problem in a more aggressive manner over the next 10 days. Now, the meeting was attended by governors of Delta, Aquaibom and Biosa states, international oil company heads and service chiefs, among others. Soccer has finally come to the victims of the fire disaster at the Kara cattle market. And those affected by the rainstorm in three councils in Ogun State as relief materials worth millions of naira have been provided for them by the National Emergency Management of Agency, that's at NEMA. Handing over the materials, the Southwest Coordinator of NEMA, Mr. Iyola Konde, commiserated with the government and people of the state over the disasters. He also called for the speedy passage of the state's emergency management agency bill into law by the State House of Assembly. From the Nigerian Meteorological Agency comes the warning that Lagos, Ogo and Cross River states may experience flooding between now and early July. The Director General of the Agency, Mr. Anthony Andoforum, gave this alert while giving an update on the 2013 final or the 2013 rainfall pattern, while adding that the underground water in these areas is already high with the rainfall recorded so far. Now, the agency, while giving assurances that it will continue to monitor and provide regular updates as the weather conditions evolve, explained that the northeastern states of Yobe and Adamawa may experience stronger dryness due to very high temperatures recorded in the area between March and April. In other news, it appears the rifts between men of the Nigerian Navy and students of the College of Fisheries and Marine Technology in Lagos may last for some time. The Navy has insisted that the issue of identity conflict between both establishments must be addressed as the image of the Navy is being tarnished as a result of this this next report takes a look at the conflict. Ever since news of the clash between the men of the Nigerian Navy and students of the Federal College of Fisheries and Marine Technology in Lagos broke, both sides have engaged in non-stop finger-pointing. 
that the facts have been distorted and falsehoods have been presented to the public by the Federal College of Fisheries and Marine Technology. While the Nigerian Navy will not shield any of its personnel that commit crimes, the service will not tolerate anyone or organization that attempts to ridicule the service. But beyond that row is the very sensitive matter of identity. The combat navy is uncomfortable about the similarities in their apparel with that of the merchant navy. Now that's another matter that's threatening to spiral out of control. This, this thing, is, it has been a long time, it has been happening. These men were arrested for impersonating Nigerian naval officers, an allegation they flatly deny. But even their claim of belonging to the merchant navy is unconvincing. I'm a merchant navy. I pass out from academy, which is oceanography. Which academy? Oceanography. Where is oceanography? VIA. We want solution over this thing. Let them sell. Let them sell to it. Let let them let them be a, 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 a stop for this mess. This lineup of officials presents a tricky problem of spotting the difference to the ordinary person on the streets. It's a major source of irritation for the Nigerian Navy, and they want the matter sorted out, even if it means getting the National Assembly involved. The Nigerian Navy, however, would like to warn individuals not to drag its name in the mud as a result of failure to perform their duties and responsibilities. This is a clear distraction as the Nigerian Navy is currently focused on tackling illegalities on our maritime environment. We use this medium to also warn all those using Nigerian Navy uniforms to stop henceforth as extensive patrols will soon be carried out to arrest impersonators. A visit to the college proves that it truly trains the merchant navy, but under very strict supervision. The institution is also seeking the support of the Nigerian Navy to reform its activities. It is when somebody is being funny and wants to go and wear impersonate navy, then the person is on his own. Because a circular was issued and students were told that they must not wear uniform out of this place. They only wear uniform when they are doing their personal parade or they have a sailor's night, to which the Nigerian Navy, uh, Nigerian Navy have been invited. And they have come to grace the occasion on several times. So that's the issue at hand now, it's... Uh, because we have an understanding already, there's an ongoing discussion on how to streamline the activities of our students. We are still waiting for that. It's still on the table. A statement from the national president of the Merchant Navy reads the riot act to anyone found parading in uniform away from the ports or on board a vessel. They will face the wrath of the law. While both sides seek a peaceful resolution to the conflict, it is essential for both the Nigerian Navy and the Merchant Navy to ensure that innocent Nigerians are not caught in the crossfire. For the big story, Charles Eruka, Channels Television News. Well, the Kwara State Chapter of the National Association of Nigerian Students has delivered a strongly worded petition against what they termed as police brutality and killings of students in the country to the president through the Kwara State Government. In the petition, the students called for urgent action on the matter, which they claimed led to the death of the Senate president of the body in an accident on his way to Uyo to mediate in a crisis between students of the University of Uyo and policemen. The Commissioner for Tertiary Education, Mohamed Lade, who received the students, promised to ensure that the petition is delivered to the president. By the special grace of God, this letter will be delivered to His Excellency for onward transmission to uh, Mr. President. I believe dialogue is the best option to every problem. And uh, you have adapted that system, which we quite are very, very happy with. So please kindly accept the condolence of the state government over the death of the, the students. And I believe we have policemen here who will also uh, relay this information when we come back a new strike where the human rights commission organizes a campaign against electoral impunity and bamanga took her retains his position as the pdp national chairman please stay with us investigating exposing uncovering reporting hard-hitting interviews 
Sunrise Daily, only on China's television.